Buenas tardes. Oh, good evening. This is Pastor Sarita. Um, today, I just wanted to come on really quickly on Facebook Live um, and talk about how, um, as believers, as people, we have an unseen enemy. Amen. We have an enemy that we cannot see, and we have an enemy that is constantly resisting us, that is constantly trying to uh, avoid for us to obtain what God what Jesus Christ paid on the cross for us and I just want to come on here to encourage um, people to uh, stand to resist and to fight against the wiles of the enemy amen because um, we we see it's so sad that when we see so many Christians that are um, defeated so many people that are defeated in um, their 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 marriages um, are being destroyed their children are being destroyed by gener you know we see generational curses in our families in our in our loved ones and and uh, maybe uh, addictions and um, you know destruction and all of these things that we see in our families and in and even in our own individual lives maybe some people struggling with anxiety depression loneliness you know and there's, there's so many things being thrown that people need to understand that we have an enemy we have an enemy that does not want you to succeed amen number one the enemy the number one tactic of the enemy first of all is for people to not come and know Jesus Christ amen and if he if he uh is not able to uh to obtain that and you and people receive Jesus Christ then he goes on to his next goal and the next goal once once you receive Jesus Christ if he couldn't avoid that and he couldn't he couldn't um you know throw the throat um that that plan that he had and you and you were able to receive Jesus Christ in your life then his second strategy against your life would be for you to not serve the Lord and for you not to be effective in serving God so his his second objective once you receive Jesus Christ he's not he wasn't able to avoid for you to receive him so his second goal the enemy's second goal in order for uh for your life is for you not to be effective in serving God amen oh papi Dios te bendiga so that's his second strategy the enemy's second strategy is for you to not serve God effectively effectively and if he's able if he's not able to 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 get you in that area then his third objective and his third goal is for you to maintain you ignorant so that you are not able to obtain the in spiritual inheritance that Jesus Christ paid on the cross for you he doesn't want you to fully live that abundant life that Jesus Christ died on the cross for so he has a plan for every person there is a plan to to destroy you his three purpose is to he came to kill steal and destroy that is the enemy's mission to kill steal and destroy the bible says in ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 it says put on all of god's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil so he has a strategy he has a well thought plan amen against your life every nothing happens just to happen there is a plan there is a strategy behind what is happening in your life in our family's life, there is a strategy. Amen. So the Bible talks about in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 through 17. It says here, he said, stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies. We are not fighting against things that we can see. This is what the scripture is saying. We are not fighting against things that we can see in our natural eyes. We are fighting against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen realm, in the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in heavenly 
places. Amen. So we are fighting against an unseen world, things that you cannot see. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty to through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We have an enemy that you cannot see. You have an enemy that you can see the effects. You can see people struggling with drug addiction. You can see families destroyed. You can see people with sickness, cancer. These are the things that we can see, but we're fighting an enemy that you cannot see. And you need spiritual weapons to come against against the enemy. You need weapons that only come through God. Amen. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Our enemy has a strategy, has a plan for your life. And the only way that we can fight him, the Bible says, put on the full armor because we are in, we are in a fight. We are in a battle. Amen. And if we don't stand against the enemy, he's going to destroy our families. He's going to destroy your marriage. He's going to destroy your children because the Bible says we have to fight. It is a battle. And if you are the type of person that is just letting the enemy do whatever he wants and you are keeping your mouth quiet, then the enemy is going to have control over your family. The Bible says in Matthew, in Matthew, it says Matthew 16, 19, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Hallelujah. Gloria a Dios. Dios le bendiga, Mauricio. Amado, Dios le bendiga. The word bind means to restrict, arrest, prohibit, declare illegal. Amen. If, if the enemy is doing some things in your family, the Bible says you have to restrict it. You have to declare that it is illegal. You have to draw the line and say, you cannot pass this line. No, you cannot touch my children. No, you cannot touch my marriage. No, it is illegal. I restrict you. I bind you. And the Bible says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. That is something we must do. The Many people think, oh, God is going to do everything. No, the Bible says, this is the, the first thing Jesus Christ, the first thing Jesus Christ gave to his disciple. Look, look at this in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 10, verse one, it says when, when Jesus called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out. The first thing Jesus Christ gave his disciples was power over demonic spirits. He says, I'm going to give you power so that you can cast them out. Hallelujah. The Bible says that for this reason was the son of God manifested that he may destroy the works of the devil. Amen. So we have the power to restrict, to bind, to declare illegal everything that the enemy is throwing at us. We have to declare that it is illegal, that it is prohibited. Amen. And the Bible says we have the keys. What does keys mean? That means you have the power to unlock and to lock up some things. Whatever you see, if you see sickness, if you see addiction, if you see depression, you have the power to bind and cast it out of your family. But many Christians are passive Christians and are allowing the enemy to do whatever they, that he wants to do. And they're not. The Bible Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. Amen. God is raising up some warriors that are willing to fight, to fight for their families, to fight for their children, to fight. Amen. You have to fight. If you are a type of Christian that is not fighting, let me tell you something. The enemy is going to have a party and playground all over your family. But the Bible calls us to put on the full armor because we are in a wrestling. We are wrestling with things that are in the 
unseen world. The Bible says that he has a strategy. He has a plan. And if you are not a type of Christians that is willing to fight, that means the enemy is going to come and try to bring generational curses to get active in your family. He's going to want generational curses to wreak havoc in your family. But if you are the type of person that says, no, -uh, I bind, I declare illegal, I prohibit it, I draw the line. You cannot advance against my family. You have to stand up and take up the full armor of God to withstand against the wilds of the devil. Amen. So uh, the, God is calling for his people to arise to war. Arise. Amen. Arise and take up your full armor and fight for your family. Fight for your children. It's time for you to stop crying over what is happening in your family. And it's time for you to take it into the spirit realm. It's time for you to fight for your family. It's time for you to war and declare. Because the Bible says he has given us all power. In heaven and earth and underneath the earth. And we have the keys to lock up some things. We have the keys to prohibit. We have the keys to declare illegal improper the things that the enemy is doing and we have the key to loose to loose what is being held up to loose amen what does the word loose means hallelujah to untie to untie to undo to grant permission to declare something legitimate or legal. I loose my family. I loose my family from that generational curse. I loose my children from sexual immorality. I loose them and they are going to be free. Amen. I loose their souls to come into the knowledge of God. Amen. There's some things that are holding up our families. Amen. The Bible says that the God of this world has blinded the minds of those that don't believe. Amen. So we have to arise. Amen. And be Look, there it is a war, amen. It is a war, and the people of God are too passive. They are too passive. They think that look, the enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy. Look, he's on top of his game. It's time for the people of God to arise and take up their stand and take authority. Jesus Christ has given us all power all authority in heaven, in earth, and underneath the earth. And it is time for you to arise and take back what the enemy has stolen. He has stolen your joy. He has stolen your prayer life. Hello, somebody. He has stolen your prayer life. Yes, I said that because he has, he's distracted you. He making you think that you can do it with just 10 minutes of prayer. He's allowed you to think that it doesn't take all of that. Yes, it does. Because guess what? The enemy is roaming like a roaring lion. He's roaming to and fro seeking whom he may devour in the, in the, in the believers, the people are just crossing their hands sleeping. The Bible says we must watch and pray. Amen. Lest we fall into temptation. Why? Because the enemy is after us. He is after to kill, steal, and destroy you. He's after you so that you won't serve God effectively. He's after you so that you can be ignorant and not obtain your full inheritance. He is after that. Amen. So if he if he can if he didn't avoid you receiving Jesus Christ, let me tell you, if you receive Jesus Christ, he's going to make sure that you don't serve him effectively. He's going to make sure that you are ignorant in certain areas so that you don't obtain your inheritance. So yes, we are in a battle. Yes, we are in a warfare. And you must take your full armor. So I pray this evening, and I just wanted to come really quick, amen, to encourage you to take up your full armor and fight. Amen. Don't no longer let the, no longer let the enemy do whatever he wants and watch your family go to hell and watch your family struggle. You got to fight. You got to stand up and fight. There has to be somebody that rises. There has to be an intercessor, a watchman that rises to fight for their family. The Bible says that he looked for an intercessor so that he won't destroy the land. That means he looks for someone because he doesn't want nobody to be destroyed. He looks for somebody to make up the hedge, to stand in the gap for those that are being afflicted by the enemy, for those that are being held captive. He wants his intercessors to arise and, and fight for their family. 
<laughs> Amen. So the Bible says we have to stand firm. That, let me say this. To stand firm, it is an attitude that you are standing with your feet on the floor and you are having attitude that you're saying you're not going to get past here. You're not going to go beyond here. I stand here and draw the line. You cannot advance. It's a firm stance against the enemy. And most of us, one little arrow the enemy shoots at us and we're over here crying and we, we are weak in our prayer. We are weak in, in getting up and fighting and the enemy weaken us. So the Bible says we must stand firm. We must fight. We must, we are in a wrestling. We are in combat. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Bible says we must take on the full armor. That must, that means action. You must take on the full armor of God. That means that you cannot be passive. You must take it on and put on the full armor of God. You must resist the enemy. Resist. That means you're taking action. Amen. You are standing on your territory and you're saying, I resist you. You cannot trespass. You cannot advance against my family. You are resisting the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. You must stand and remain and don't move. Amen. Do not be moved against the wiles of the enemy. Take up the shield of faith. Take on the full armor of God. Amen. And fight for your family. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your children. Fight, amen, because they're depending on you. You that are a believer, I pray that you start standing up for your family and you fight for your children and declare that the enemy cannot have them. Declare that all generational curses are broken over our family. Declare that they must be loosed from the enemy's hand. He must loose them because they belong to God. You must stand and fight for your family. Fight for your children. Cover them in prayer. Protect them in prayer. Amen. Because your enemy, the adversary, is looking for someone to destroy. He's always looking to destroy the soul. Amen. Hallelujah. So I encourage you. This is all I had to say today. I just wanted to encourage uh, each person that will watch this for, to fight to pray. Don't let go of your prayer life. Amen. Don't let the enemy destroy your prayer life. Your prayer life is your lifeline. Let me tell you, a Christian without a prayer life is a weak Christian. It's just a matter of time before they die spiritually. Amen. You must fight in prayer. Prayer is our weapon. Amen. I, I, there's a saying, if you, if you show me your prayer life and I'll show you a strong man and woman of God. Amen. You, a, a man and woman of God is not stronger than their prayer life. You must rise and keep your prayer life and keep fighting for your family. Because if you don't give up, if you resist, if you persevere, you are going to win the battle. Amen. Because the Bible promises we are more than a conqueror. We got the victory. We are already on the winning side. We are on top. Amen. He's under our feet. And you must continue to keep them under your feet because the enemy doesn't pray fair. He's always going to want to go on top, but you must keep him under your feet. Amen. Amen. I'm Pastor Sarita Castro, um, Fire of God International Ministry. We are, um, God bless you, Jennifer. God bless you. Um, we're at 3350 Textile Road. At every Sunday, we're there at 5 p.m. We have 3 a.m. prayer Thursday. 3 a.m. prayer where we are declaring our morning and we are declaring and setting the year in its place. We are commanding our morning. We are commanding our day. We are commanding our year. Remember that God spoke and it was. And so you must use your weapon, your weapon of your words. You speak those things that are not as though they were. You speak life. You declare things improper. You bind, you loose by the power of your words. There are is power in what you speak. So you begin to declare, amen, you arise in the morning and declare that your day must align with the perfect will of God. Declare that your children must come into the kingdom of God. You declare 
that all spiritual blindness must be broken off of their minds. You declare and decree, establish it, and, and declare that it is illegal for the enemy to take and do whatever he wants to do with your children. He can't do that, amen. You have to mark the spot. You have to set the rules. You set the rules, not him. Hallelujah. So take your position, take your rightful place of authority, and you're going to watch the enemy. He must flee. Resist the enemy, and he has to go, the Bible says. Amen. So I just encourage you, amen. I, I don't want to keep going because I will keep going, amen. But I just encourage you, take up your full armor, fight, fight for your family, amen. 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 So we're at 3350 Textile Road. We're Fire of God International Ministry. I will be on here in Spanish tomorrow <coughs> with the same message. Amen. Amen. So I just pray God bless you guys. Share this video. I hope it encourages someone. I hope it, it really encourages someone to fight for what belongs to them. Fight for what the enemy has stolen. Fight. Amen. Do not let go and fight. And if you persevere, you're going to reach it. You're going to get it. Amen. We are already on the winning side. You just have to be willing to fight it. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Amen.